करें मैं देख रहा हूं कुछ अपने में बात कर रहे हैं मस्त है चलिए कोई बात नहीं आपका लाइफ है आपका चॉइस है चलिए नाड़ी शुद्धि प्रणायाम राइट नोसिस दिस इज नोन एस अनुलोम विलोम ऑल्सो और नाड़ी शुद्धि राइट थम से राइट नोसिस को बंद करते हैं और लेफ्ट से गहरी सांस ले और लेफ्ट से बंद के राइट से खाली किए राइट से ले चलिए मेरे साथ करें लेफ्ट से ले राइट से खाली करें दिस ऑल थिंग इन दिस ऑल प्राणायाम कैन बी परफॉर्म आफ्टर टेकिंग द लंच ऑल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम ओनली जो है टफ एक्सरसाइज आप नहीं कर सकते हो प्राणायाम बिल्कुल लंच के बाद आप आराम से कर सकते हैं लेफ्ट से ले राइट से खाली किए राइट से ले लेफ्ट से खाली किए लेफ्ट से लिए चलिए टेन टैंक्स करें आंखें बंद करते हुए समर्पण के साथ दिव्यता के साथ तन्मयता के साथ उमंग के साथ समर्पण के साथ हंड्रेड परसेंट दे बच्चे जैसा अनलोम बिलोम counselor as once again i am repeating i am a counselor certified counselor by health directorate of health services i we used to do counseling for such people those who are having unknown fear those who are having uh, the tendency of a uh, crying unnecessary without any reason those who are having a tendency to become angry without any reason chote chote karyo mein gussa aana chidchida banana एंड आफ्टर कोरोना इफेक्ट अगर किसी को है तो आप बिल्कुल शेयर कर सकते हैं आई विल गिव यू जिसका अगर बाल झड़ गया होगा आफ्टर कोरोना इट हैज बीन सीन दैट कि जिसको दोस्त पीपल दोस्त आर एफेक्टेड विद कोरोना उनका बाल बहुत झड़ा है उसके लिए बहुत अच्छा मेडिसिन है बहुत अच्छा नेचुरल रेमेडी आई एम हैविंग इफ समी इज हैविंग दैट प्रॉब्लम यू जस्ट कॉन्टेक्ट मी आई विल जस्ट बिकॉज वी वॉट वी ऑल हैव एक्सपीरियंस आई एम शेयरिंग दैट थिंग अच्छा इस एनीबडी इन दिस सेशन जिसको रात में प्रॉपर नींद नहीं आती है यस सर यस अच्छा तनाव जो है डिप्रेशन है स्ट्रेस है कंसंट्रेशन पावर जिसका कम है तो उसके लिए आज हम एक मेडिटेशन पद्धति करते हैं अगर रात को जिसको नींद नहीं है उनके लिए भी मैं बता के दूंगा नाउ वी विल परफॉर्म ए स्मॉल मेडिटेशन प्रोसेस दैट इज पावर ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन आई हम्बली रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट यू ऑल शुड वन एंड ऑल मेंबर्स अटेंडिंग दिस सेशन वेरी सिंसियरली शुड परफॉर्म दिस आप लोग यू ऑल आर गुरुजन आप लोग सब टीचर्स हैं फैकल्टीज रेस्पेक्टेड यू आर वी ऑल आर द बैक बॉन्ड ऑफ आवर नेशन टीचर एंड अ प्रोफेसर इज द बैक बॉन्ड ऑफ एनी नेशन सो आप लोग से मैं करबत निवेदन करता हूं कि परफॉर्म दिस यू नो इफ यू आर एबल टू ऑन यूर कैमरा देन इट विल बी यू नो आई विल बी हाईली अप्रिशिएटिंग दैट पीपल बस ऑन करें कैमरा एक बार देखना चाहता हूं आप लोग को करते हुए अच्छा लगेगा just on kare chaliye we will perform a small meditation in which i will take you from by the power of visualization i will take you to that place from where you have started your journey aapko main us ghar le chalunga jahan par bachpan mein aap apne mummy papa ke sath khela karte the uh, it is you know very powerful technique after this technique i will uh, just tell you that why i have performed uh, uh, told to perform this and what is the effect of this 
by uh, visualizing this what effect your entire hardware and software have received aapka jo uh, uh, feel good hormones kaise activate hota hai ye hum perform aaj aapko batayenge yahan par chaliye aapko aankhein band karna hai and you have to visualize i will just request you i will just uh, uh, take uh, the name of some object for example apple say if i am telling apple you have to visualize the image of the apple if i am requesting you to visualize a bicycle a cycle ko dekhiye aapke mummy ka mata ka chehre ko mummy ka face ko dekhne bolunga you have to visualize the face of your parents mummy papa ko dekhne bolunga papa ka chehre ko dekhe power of visualization with the signs of breath only request is that close your eyes and don't open your eyes Until and unless I request you to open your eyes. चलिए हम इस जर्नी की ओर चले ऑल आर रेडी टू ट्रेवल इन दिस जर्नी आप तैयार रहेंगे चलिए यस सर ओके तो मैं विजुलाइज करने बोलूंगा आपको विजुलाइज करना है और जहां जहां मैं आपको बताऊंगा उसको मन में पूरी हंड्रेड परसेंट लेके आना है डूरिंग दिस जर्नी इफ यू आर हैविंग इफ यू इफ यू आर गेटिंग स्माइल यू शुड स्माइल डूरिंग दिस जर्नी अगर हंसी आता है तो डोंट स्टॉप योर इमोशंस हंसना रोके नहीं इस जर्नी में अगर रोना आए आंख से आंसू निकले तो डोंट स्टॉप योर टीयर्स लेट योर टीयर कम आउट अंदर को जो सुनामी है अंदर को जो टर्बुलेंस है दैट विल कम आउट साइड थ्रू योर टीयर्स so this is a powerful and amazing technique that is power of visualization please close your eyes aankhein band kar le close your eyes close your eyes aankhein puri tarah band kar le aur aaram se baith jaye sharir ko dheela chhod de मन को ढीला छोड़ दे वंस अगेन विद माई फोल्डेड हैंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू क्लोज योर आईस हे ईश्वर के पुत्र पुत्रियों हे सर्वशक्तिमान मानव आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करता हूं निवेदन करता हूं आप इस सेशन में बैठे हो मैं जैसा बोल रहा हूं थोड़ा देर के लिए मेरे बातों पर अमल करें मैं आपको विश्वास दिलाता हूं आज से आपको बहुत ऊर्जावान तेजवान तेजस्वी ओजस्वी बनने का छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल दूंगा क्लोज योर आइस बिल्कुल किसी भी सूरत में आंखें ना खोले विजुलाइज योर सेल्फ सी योर फेस एस इफ यू आर स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द मिरर आईने के सामने खड़े हो और आप अपने आप को देख रहे हो नाउ वी आर ट्रेवलिंग हैविंग ए वंडरफुल जर्नी ऑफ मेडिटेशन वेरी पावरफुल प्रोसेस ऑफ मेडिटेशन दैट इज पावर ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन हंड्रेड परसेंट करें विजुलाइज यूर सेल्फ आप अपना चेहरे को देखिए आईने के सामने आप खड़े हो अपने आप को देख रहे हो शक्तिमान सर्वशक्तिमान जिसको भी आप मानते हो जो भी शक्तिमान अनसीन पावर है उनको धन्यवाद दे उनको थैंक्स दे टू हैव दिस वंडरफुल फेस कई लाखों में अकेला चेहरा कई करोड़ों में अकेला चेहरा आपका थैंक्स टू दिस वंडरफुल लाइफ आपको जो जीवन मिला है वो कई लाखों का सपना है ऐसे इस विश्व में कई लाखों लोग हैं जिनको सुबह की रोशनी जो देख नहीं पाते हैं ऐसे कई लाखों लोग हैं जिनको एक वक्त की रोटी नसीब नहीं होता ऐसे कई लाखों लोग हैं जिनको रहने का छत नहीं है ऐसे कई लाखों लोग हैं जो कभी स्कूल का द्वार नहीं देखे आप लोग हम लोग सब कितने भाग्यशाली है टू हैव दिस वंडरफुल लाइफ डोंट ओपन योर आईस एंड देन ऑल्सो वी यूज टू कम्प्लेन विथ आवर लाइफ फिर भी हम जीवन से बहुत शिकायत करते हैं कि हमारा जीवन ऐसा है हमारा जीवन ऐसा है अब 
अपने मम्मी पापा के चेहरे को देखे विजुलाइज द फेस ऑफ योर मॉम एंड डैड माता और पिता के चेहरे को देखे Visualize that you are receiving a big, you know, blessings from your parents. Your parents, as wish me, कहाँ पर भी हो, मैं I assure you that your vibrations will touch them. आपका जो aura है, आपका जो सोच भी जो रहे हो, vibes जो है, उनको touch कर जाएगा. बिल्कुल लाखे नहीं खोलेंगे. अब धीरे-धीरे मन की आंखों से आप उस घर को देखें विजुलाइज दैट स्वीट होम होम फ्रॉम वेर यू हैव स्टार्टेड योर लाइवलीहुड चाइल्ड हुड जब आप क्लास फोर्थ फिफ्थ में पढ़ते थे तो आप मम्मी पापा के साथ खेला करते थे उस घर को देखें वो घर है नहीं है दैट डस इन मैटर्स विजुलाइज दैट होम स्वीट होम वेर यूज टू प्ले विथ यूर स्मॉल ब्रदर स्मॉल सिस्टर मम्मी पापा का हाथ पकड़ के खेला करते थे उस घर को देखे विजुलाइज दैट होम जस्ट स्टैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर होम स्वीट होम द पावर ऑफ विजुलाइजेशन आप उस घर में एंटर करें प्लीज एंटर इन टू दैट स्वीट होम अभी तो बहुत बड़ा घर बंगले में आप रहते हैं उस घर को देखें जहां से आपने बचपन की शुरुआत की थी विजुलाइज द फ्रेंड बचपन में जो उस दोस्त का चेहरे को देखें जो आप बचपन में आपके साथ खेला करते थे विजुलाइज द फेस ऑफ दैट फ्रेंड हु यूज टू प्ले ड्यूरिंग योर चाइल्ड हुड नो बहुत उमंग के साथ मस्ती के साथ किसी भी कारण से अभी बहुत समय से उस दोस्त से आप टच में नहीं हो दोस्त को भूल गए हो आप बहुत बड़े हो गए हो किसी भी कारण से भूल गए विजुलाइज द फेस ऑफ योर चाइल्ड हुड फ्रेंड आई अश्योर यू दैट टुडे योर वाइब्रेशन विल टच ही मम्मी पापा का चेहरे को देखें दादा दादी का चेहरे को देखें उस घर में प्रवेश करें एज यू नॉस यू एंटर यू आर दैट स्वीट होम ऑल दी मेंबर्स आर वेटिंग फॉर वेलकमिंग यू सभी लोग आज स्वागत कर रहे हैं आपके हर एक एक सदस्य के चेहरे को देखें विजुलाइज द फेस ऑफ योर मॉम डैड दादा दादी नाना दीदी भैया छोटू उस छोटो के साथ खेलते हुए देखे उस गुड़िया के साथ खेलते हुए देखे अब आराम से उस पुराने घर में बैठ जाए प्लीज प्लीज सीट एट उस घर में बैठ जाए डोंट ओपन योर आईस एट एनी क्रॉस वॉट एवर हैपनिंग लेट इट हैपन स्माइल कम स्माइल आने दे आंसू आ रहा है आंसू आने दे मम्मी पापा के साथ आप बैठे हो आज receiving a blessing from them
सभी को आपके माता पिता को प्रणाम करते हुए आपके जितने भाई बहन हैं घर के हर मेंबर्स को प्यार देते हुए आराम से वापस आ जाएं अपने शरीर के प्रति सजग हो जाएं, बी अवेयर ऑफ योर बॉडी अपने परिसर के प्रति जो भी आंखें बिल्कुल भी बंद रखें खोले नहीं जो भी छोटी सी छोटी आवाज सुनने को मिल रही है स्मॉल स्मॉल नॉइस वॉट एवर यू आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम योर सराउंडिंग प्लीज बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट साउंड छोटी छोटी आवाज को ध्यान से सुनने की कोशिश करें और जब भी अच्छा लगे वेन एवर यू आर फीलिंग गुड वेरी स्लोली स्लोली ब्लिंगिंग योर आई लिट यू कैन ओपन योर आईज बहुत धीमी गति से आंखें खोल सकते हैं सभी को मेरा प्रणाम हाउ वॉज द जर्नी Amazing, Amazing. Nice, Super. Next. कहते हैं हिंदी में वन कोटेशन आई विल लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू सोच को बदलिए सितारे बदल जाएंगे सोच को बदलिए सितारे बदल जाएंगे नजर को बदलिए नजारे बदल जाएंगे कश्तियों को बदलने की जरूरत नहीं सिर्फ दिशाएं बदल दीजिए मंजिले अपने आप मिल जाएगी थॉट प्रोसेस आवर एंटायर लाइफ डिपेंड्स अपॉन आवर थॉट प्रोसेस हम कैसे सोचते हैं ऐसी बन जाते हैं अच्छा सोचिए किसी के बारे में अच्छा सोचिए दिस यूनिवर्स गिव्स बैक यू नो सब चीज वापस मिलता है आपको बता रहा हूं हम दूसरे के प्रति अगर नाराजगी रखेंगे जलस रखेंगे दैट विल कम टू यू इन एनी फॉर्म सब रिवर्स होके आता है इसलिए जब तक जीवित रहते हैं जब तक सी दिस यूनिवर्स डस इन गारंटीज दैट कि नेक्स्ट लाइफ में हम यहां पाएंगे कि नहीं जब तक हम जीवित हैं तब तक खुशनुमा रहे सकारात्मक रहे सबके साथ बहुत अच्छे बने रहे क्योंकि रात को सोने के बाद पता नहीं सुबह की रोशनी देख पाते हैं कि नहीं सो इस प्रकार हमेशा रहें खुश रहें मुस्कुराते हुए रहें उमंग के साथ रहें और रोज जो है आधा घंटा शरीर को दे गिव एटलीस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स फॉर योर एंटायर हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर देन नेक्स्ट इज सूर्य नमस्कार आसन इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू एनीथिंग एटलीस्ट यू शुड परफॉर्म टोल स्टेजेस ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार आसन दैट इज वेरी पावरफुल चेयर सूर्य नमस्कार आसन इज ऑल्सो देर बिकॉज ऑफ स्कैरसिटी ऑफ टाइम मैं उसको नहीं करा पाऊंगा इन अनदर सेशन अगर आप बोलेंगे तो मैं करके दिखा दूंगा बट मेरे को लग रहा है फाइव मिनट्स ही बचा हुआ है तो और ज्यादा एलाबरेट नहीं करते हुए मैं सेशन ऑनरेबल हर्षद मेहता सर और डबी सर को एंड ओवर करता हूं सर अगर किसी को कोई क्वेश्चन है दे कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन और कुछ फीडबैक देना है तो फीडबैक दे सकते हैं आई विल बी हैप्पी ओके ओके पार्टिसिपेंट्स कैन डिस्कस कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन सो आई थिंक इट विल बी मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आल्सो सर विल आल्सो अप्रिशिएट ओके सो ओवर टू यू पार्टिसिपेंट्स हेलो हेलो ऑडियंस यस या या वेरी Contact number so that I want to conduct your session for my student. <laughs> Surely, ma'am. Sure. Yeah. 
see we are having various sessions especially for students we are i am having a session that is find out the leader in you it is a very amazing session especially the session is done offline through offline mode it is very wonderful agar koi bachcha bolta hai he never wo kabhi stage fear hai wo kabhi gana nahi gata hai speech nahi bol sakta hai within 3 hours of that uh, time duration i will make him or her to speak on the stage to sing the song that is the beauty of that session find out the leader in you aur bahut sara power of silence and uh, is prakar ka bahut sare sessions hain kabhi bhi aap invite kariye i will be happy to uh, perform this please uh, can you share uh, contact number now or after session contact number yes. Yeah, my contact number. Please note down my number, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, my number is seven six nine seven four. Yes, sir. Seven six nine seven four seven 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 seven. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Right. <laughs> बहुत लोग का चेहरे में मुस्कान आ गया होगा. <laughs> yes, of course sir thank you very yeah. much and organizers also so so thanks a lot for all uh, one and all members attended this function may the power of almighty be with you at every walk of your life chehre mein sabka zindagi mein bahut khushiyan aaye sab khushi se rahe mast rahe masti mein rahe safe rahe kamnao ke sath आदरणीय हर्षद पटेल साहब आदरणीय तभी साहब यस सर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सर रियली एंजॉयड एंड फुल ऑफ एनर्जी आई से माय सेल्फ आल्सो हैविंग विद आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग सो रियली यू हैव शेयर और यू हैव गिवन वेरी पावरफुल थॉट्स मींस रिज्यूवनेट द हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सो इट्स रियली you have given the proof of enlightenment i think all the participants may also you know, feel very rejuvenated and uh, very um, exuberance okay <laughs> so i thank you very much sir on behalf of uh, our atal fdp our institute our department and on behalf of all the participant so i thank you very much sir your uh, whole hearted effort for living uh, say as a human being and also you are uh, uh, sharing happiness okay and also you have said your idea very very good that uh, happiness share happiness that will again return to us <laughs> okay i like your one uh, thoughts paav ko rakho garam pet ko rakho naram और सिर को रखो ठंडा रियली ये ये इसमें आई थिंक सर ने ये कैप्सूल हैप्पीनेस का कैप्सूल दे दिया है सो रियली थैंक यू वेरी मच सर आल्सो इट विल हेल्प टू से ब्रिंग आउट द हिडन टैलेंट सो थैंक यू सर एंड आल्सो थैंक यू फॉर ब्रिंगिंग द स्माइल ऑन फेसेस ऑफ ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स थैंक यू सर हाँ आपने ये सेशन बहुत इंटरेक्टिव बनाया और आपने जो लास्ट में अपना नंबर दिया उसमें जो सात का जिक्र किया है वो बहुत ही मतलब मन को लुभा गया है पूरा कि सात सात का जीवन में क्या महत्व होता है <laughs> हम साथ साथ हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अटल एफडी पी एंड जी सी पाटन एंड इफ पॉसिबल during offline session we will definitely invite you after this end of pandemic situation so please accept the invitation yeah very very soon this session, this you know problem will be solved sir hey, this corona and, and this pandemic now it will be solved very soon hey, pura chale jayega sab normal ho jayega good okay. we hope so sir <laughs> we hope so And so you may leave now sir so we will start our namaskar. session next session at 3:30 okay namaskar thank sir you. thank you thank you bless you thank you
हेलो एच डी पटेल सर हाँ बोलो बोलो हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल सर ओके
गुड आफ्टरनून पंडे सर जी पटेल सर यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू स्टार्ट गुड आफ्टरनून रिस्पेक्टेड पंडे सर एंड डियर पार्टिसिपेंट बीइंग ए कन्वीनर ऑफ दिस एफडीपी myself professor gia patel uh, extremely honorable and extremely honor to invite dr asan pandey sir as a as an expert for this session of five day fdp sir is currently working as a principal at lagdit the engineering college morbi gujarat state sir has completed his phd from iit delhi and uh, area of interest of sir is power electronic application in electric motor drives energy saving in drives in power system and power quality issues sir has guided three phd students and completed all of them and more than five students under his guidance sir is contributing to academic system by giving his contribution uh, being a honorable member of academic council for gujarat technological university sir has published more than 30 research paper in national as well as international conference and reputed journals Uh, i know personally to sir uh, since 1990 and uh, i would like to say that uh, what we know to sir is uh, sir is more than what we know he always uh, interested to contribute to system as well as uh, he said uh, try to share experience as well as expertness to faculty members as well as students and uh, sometime we feel sir is very strict but uh, i know that sir always try to improve students as well as faculty members so his guidance is always beneficial for student as well as faculty members the today's topic for expert talk is power quality issue in microgrid So now I request Pandey sir to deliver his talk on this topic. Thank you, sir. Sir, please unmute. Pandey sir, please unmute yourself. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Jee Patel sir, and it is my pleasure to contribute in this uh, at the FDP. डेफिनेटली साहेब मार विषय जे कहीं कहू वॉट एवर ही टोल बिकॉज वी ऑल आर कलीग ओके एंड सो इट इज मई ड्यूटी राधर से ओके फॉर थीस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग थी नाउ केन यू सी द प्रेजेंटेशन यस सर Yes, sir. It is not full screen, na? No, sir. It is not full screen, but PPT is visible.
Now is it full screen? Yes, sir. Yes, it's full screen now. OK. So good afternoon to all after this lunch hours and probably this is my final session. So today's my topic is the power quality issues in the microgrid. Uh, I think the FDP already started on Monday and so many things have been told regarding the microgrid. But today we are going to definitely repeat some portion which already discussed and then we shall come to the issues which are faced in the microgrid. Okay, so if little bit revision is there or repetition is there, please bear it. Now the outline of the presentation is the definition of microgrid as per the IEEE, then the system component, that means which are the major components of the microgrid, configuration of microgrid, classification of microgrid, example of microgrid in India, that is just for the awareness, then the power quality issues in microgrid, we shall, we shall discuss the power quality issues in detail, distributed power quality improvement devices, that is known as the DPQI. So what are the devices which are helpful to us for addressing the power quality issues? Comparison of DPQI. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss in today's session. Definitely the session will be interactive. So whenever you want to ask me a question, please feel free to ask me a question, we shall discuss the thing. Now, lots of interest are, interest are created among researchers about the microgrid, because I say the microgrid, that is the first step of the smart grid. In so many lectures, I always say that the microgrid, that is the first step towards the smart grid. And so many people are talking about smart grid and Basically, the concept of smart grid will emerge from the microgrid. So the definition of microgrid is the microgrids are considered to be locally confined and independently controlled. Remember, locally confined and independently controlled. Independently controlled, that is important word. Electric power grids in which a distribution architecture integrates what is distribution architecture? Whenever we are saying that there is the distribution, then the distribution will consist what? The loads and distributed energy resources. Whenever we are saying about the distribution system, then load must be there. Okay. Now, in our conventional grid, the energy resources may or may not be present in a distribution system, in our conventional system. But in case of the microgrid, the distributed system, the distribution architecture consists load as well as the distributed energy sources. Now here again, the distributed energy sources. What it means? It may be local distributed generators or energy storage devices and energy storage devices. So the distributed energy sources merely does not mean that they are the renewable energy sources or renewable plant. Okay, like the PV, windmill, etc. But it consists the energy storage devices also. So that is the thing. So locally distributed generators and energy storage devices. So now here, which allows the microgrid to operate connected or isolated to a main grid. So what it means, the grid should be capable to operate stand alone. The microgrid should be capable to operate with main grid. That means the operation with main grid and without grid, that is known as the islanding operation of the microgrid. Now, in other words, if you say that the microgrid is what? So microgrid, in case of the microgrid, you can say that, one minute. Hmm. 
In case of the microgrid, you can say that if microgrid is not there, then the electric grid would be there, and that electric grid is feeding the power to some local area, which is the case of our conventional system. But in case of the microgrid, even if the main grid is not there, a main grid na hoy, that chata pan your microgrid will be capable to work stand alone. So, in short, you can say that it is the combination of the microgrid plus main grid. So, whatever the issues related with the main grid will reflect to the microgrid, and whatever are the issues of the microgrid may reflect to the main grid. So, today we are going to discuss is the issues, and particularly this threat are the power quality issues because we were, what we are talking about that is for the power system. We are not uh, right now discussing about the cost of the microgrid and so many things like that. Okay, so we are right now discussing about the issues which are the power quality related issues of the microgrid. So what I mean to say. Whatever the power quality related issues are there in the microgrid can may be reflected to the main grid and to the main grid and the whatever are the main grid issues are there that will be reflected to the microgrid. So now, before discussing the issue, let us first of all know if there are several issues, then why we opt for the microgrid. जो आपने प्रॉब्लम छे तो पे माइक्रोग्रिड में जवुद सुकाम वाइ सु वाइ 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 डू वी ऑफ फॉर द माइक्रोग्रिड बिकॉज़ द माइक्रोग्रिड हैव सेवरल एडवांटेजेस इट गिव्स अप सम एडिशनल फीचर्स व्हिच द कन्वेंशनल पावर सिस्टम इज नॉट ऑफरिंग सो व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस तो मोर रेजिलिएंट बिकॉज़ द डाइवर्स पावर इनपुट्स एंड मोस्ट केसेस नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द डाइवर्स पावर इनपुट now see here whatever are the advantages the, all these advantages or the majority of the advantages will also create the power quality issue diverse power input means the power input can be from the pv source the power input can be from the wind energy the power input can be from the micro turbine the power input can be from the energy storage devices so there is not possibility that at same time all this power input will get failed and that's why we can say that it is more resilient okay so that is the first thing then more efficient why it is more efficient it is more efficient because we are having the generation of power we are having the power source at the distribution level we are having the power source nearer to the load this is the point that we have to keep in mind in conventional what happen your thermal power plant is say far away from the load side so the transmission distribution sub distribution so many things come between the source and load and everywhere the losses will take at place that's why the efficiency of microgrid is more than the conventional grid because it is feeding power to the load which is located nearby to the source source ni nazik ad load che etle tamare distribution level upar j kaam pati jay che there is no step up there is no step uh, in between transmission substation uh, aa badi vastu kashi there is no transmission line directly distribution so it is more efficient more environmentally friendly why because generally the distributed sources distributed energy sources are generally renewable energy sources that are pv wind mill micro turbine micro hydro then the energy storage so there is low emission of carbon or no emission of carbon and that's why it is environmentally friendly it is more flexible it is less vulnerable than the more modular modular means what suppose you are having one source then you can add another source also you can uh, add uh, another type of source also like that all these things are uh, possible in case of the microgrid 
AGI to control immune to issues occurring elsewhere. So it is immune. Suppose there is some fault at the grid side. So it, if it is, uh, you can say that working in a standalone mode, then it, the effect of grid side fault will not be there on the microgrid. And microgrids can be integrated into existing system without having to interrupt the load. So you can just add on. parallel operation Similarly, here we can have the you can have the augmentation of the energy sources into the microgrid without interrupting the load. So these are the advantages. So many advantages are there. So the thing is that first of all, the area where you want to provide the power supply, which is far away. Plus, where the, there are scope of renewable energy resources. And the third thing, it will also decrease the burden on the main grid if it is there. Okay, because say, for local area, microgrid is providing the power. Okay, that means that much amount of power is not absorbed from the main grid. So it is decreasing the burden of the main grid. And for these purposes, having considering these advantages, we are using the microgrid. So this is one of the diagram you can say that here, this is known as your utility grid or the main grid. This is the point of common coupling. And from this, here it is the microgrid. So now here, the microgrid may have several sources like the photovoltaic, wind turbine, battery storage, flywheel, supercapacitor, fuel cell, then the combined heat and power like that. Okay, it may have variety of loads. So depending upon the load, we can classify it as the DC microgrid, AC microgrid or hybrid microgrid that we are going to discuss later on. Okay. And if we are saying that it is able to operate in standalone mode, that means from this point PCC, it is disconnected. It is known as the standalone microgrid or in islanding mode. And if here it is not disconnected, but connected with the main grid, we can say that it is the grid tied mode or grid connected mode. So that is the microgrid. Now here, why the issues are there? I am saying that the power quality issues are there. Basically, the issues of microgrid are some or more similar to that of the distribution system, our distribution system, whatever the issues with our distribution system, the similar kind of issues will there be of the microgrid. But one major issue is here you can say that if this is the PV panel, then what will be the output of your PV panel? Please. What will be the output of your PV panel? DC. It is DC. Okay. Now, if the load is AC, then you have to convert the DC into AC. That means here the power converter is required. Now suppose here the windmill is there. Then what will be the output of the windmill? AC. 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 But AC, again, AC. even though it is AC, here the converter is required to make the voltage and frequency. Similarly, for battery storage also, the no. output is DC. Please, please mute. Hello. Participants are requested to mute themselves during the session. They can unmute themselves only after the completion of the session. Please cooperate. And Pandya sir, you are requested to start now after unmuting. Sorry for inconvenience, sir. Uh, please unmute, sir. Uh. 
हेलो सर यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल प्लीज अनम्यूट योर माइक सर हेलो यस नाउ नाउ ऑडिबल सर अच्छा तो तब मैं अनम्यूट कर रहा तो क्या थी ओके आई थे सर ए आई समझ गया आई गॉट इट टू टू यू अनम्यूट ऑल ओके ओके सो हियर व्हाट आई मीन टू से इज इवन दो द डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस आर देयर फॉर आउटपुट ऑफ ऑल दिस रिसोर्सेस आर डिफरेंट in you can say that the rating so what we are doing is to have the parallel operation to have the synchronization among the sources and having the synchronization between the microgrid and main grid we are using converters now whenever we are using the converters that are the power electronics devices you know that all power electronics devices are also known as the switching devices and as switching devices that we are using the output of switching devices that we are getting are not perfectly ideal or you can say that in case of inverter it is not sinusoidal plus the switching devices are there that's why the harmonics will be present in the system so one of the major issue that is the harmonic but at the same time the second issue is that the power exchange will also be limited depending upon the rating of the uh, converter okay suppose there is short of power in main grid and the micro grid uh, micro grid is giving the power to the main grid at that time again the problem of converter rating will come into the picture so several problems are lies with the micro grid and that we are going to discuss one by one okay so now what are the system component what that you have observed that is the generation units that are the micro sources approximately below 100 kilowatt we are saying that approximately okay so now the pv modules small wedge wind generators fuel cells and micro turbines all these are the sources that you can say that uh, we are considering as the distributed energy resources okay energy storage is there what they are they are the batteries ultra capacitors and flywheel what are the uh, what is the role of energy storage device suppose if we do not have the energy storage device what will happen anyone can answer okay that i will explain you okay i, I will try to uh, explain that during my discussion then the load no, is that, the load is electronics load plug in hybrid load in the main grid because it is connected with the main grid and if your micro grid is supplying power to the main grid then the main grid will become a load remember if micro grid is supplying power to the main grid then the main grid will become a load and if the main grid is supplying power to the micro grid at that time the micro grid will become a load to the main grid barabar samjho je power aape che e source che okay those who are supplying the power is considered as the source and those who are absorbing the power will be considered as the load this is very simple okay and the power electronic interface so power electronic interface that is the dc to dc converter is required then the dc to ac converter is required that is known as the rectifier sorry inverter and ac to dc converter is required that is known as the rectifier when the dc to dc converter is required that is known as the chopper when suppose it is the dc microgrid or say the power generated by for example uh, one of the distributed energy resources is more than the load power generated by distributed energy resources or distributed energy sources is more than the load at that time what we shall do 
we have to dump that power or we can supply it to the main grid. Suppose the main grid does not require it. For example, or it is in the standalone mode, let it be the islanding mode. Main grid such a connected nothing. So how we have power no super is to happen. If the generation is more than load, then we shall utilize this power to charge batteries, ultra capacitors, etc. That means the energy storage devices have power up Now, if the power generated is AC, okay, or DC, if it the power generated is DC, then again you need the DC to DC converter to charge the battery. If the power generated is AC, then you need the rectifier to charge the battery. So now you understood why the choppers are required, why the inverters are required, why the rectifiers are required, why the batteries and ultra capacitors are required. Whenever the surplus power is there, they will absorb the power, they will store the power energies. I, I should use the word energy. When the surplus energy is there, they should store the energy. And when there is sort of power, that means when the load is more than power, larger than power, at that time they will help to reduce the burden over the grid. That's why the energy storage devices are required. Here the sources are required, energy storage devices are there, loads are there. And having the power communication, power communication, that is the power exchange between the source and load, between the source and energy storage device, between energy storage device and load, and between, you can say that uh, all these three types, you need the converters. That's why the power electronic interfaces are required. Okay, if you have, if you have any question, then you can uh, tell me at the end of the session. I will stay 10 to 15 minutes uh, for the question and answer. I will try to spare. Okay. So now these are the various components of the microgrid system. And which component is responsible for the power quality problem? So that also we shall discuss. Okay. Now these are the microgrid configuration. Here the source is taken here from where I have got this figure. So it is a very much usual and there is no necessity. It simply indicates the simplicity to the complexity of the microgrid. Now the microgrid classification, how can we classify it? The one that is known as the simple microgrid, okay, then the multi-DG microgrid, okay, and then the utility microgrid, okay. So if more than one sources are, required, sources are used, that means more than one DG source is used, then it is known as the multi-DG microgrid, okay. Similarly, depending upon the output or depending upon the load connected, you can say that it is AC microgrid, DC microgrid, and AC to DC hybrid microgrid. So here you can also say that it is AC microgrid. If the load connected are AC, it is DC microgrid. If the load connected to grid are DC, and generally we are having the hybrid type of the load, so we are using the AC to D AC and DC hybrid micro grid. Okay, so that is the thing and uh, that we are focusing on. So now here there are several micro grid in India. This is just for uh, awareness. Okay, and what is the capacity? So you can say that we are having micro grid at Bihar, Sundarban, Hyderabad, then the Chhattisgarh. Madhya Pradesh, generally when the concept of microgrid was there at that time, it was focused at the remote area. The remote area where the power supply is not available, then the local grid can be formed using the renewable energy sources and that local grid will um, uh, provide the supply. Now, it is very interesting. I, I can give you one example. I 
read it in some uh, research paper. In India, there was one village. And in that village, uh, so suppose you want to charge your mobile, Ketla rupiah nu charge karavda also tamya? Generally, if you are saying that I want to charge my mobile, at that time we think that okay, we are talking about the prepaid and postpaid plan. But yes, but yes, the supply was not available in that village. Every day one person was collecting the mobile of all, going to the city nearby area where the supply is there. He charged all the mobile and then come back to the village. And for this, he collects some money from the villages. Avo paristiti hati, avi jajigya hoi. At that time, we are using the microgrid. When suppose there is some forest area, it is very difficult to lay the uh, transmission and distribution line in that area. At that time, we are forming the microgrid to provide the localized supply to the residents uh, that, that are th uh, staying in that particular area. So these are the example of microgrid in India. And there are so many examples. And uh, that means the microgrid nowadays are in existence. Atyarya una si ke apna phakta ne phakta vato kariya si ke microgrid hai. But abhi the microgrid is there in the existence. And uh, gradually uh, the microgrid technology is developing and uh, definitely it will be matured uh, within a time. And then once the microgrid technology gets matured, then uh, we shall have the smart grid and the concept of smart grid will be there. Okay. So now, right now, we are discussing the power quality issues. Okay. Now, see, uh, each, sentence, uh, each sentence is very important. A microgrid can operate in isolated mode and or grid tied mode. As I told you that we are having the microgrid. If this blue line is there, if the grid is operating under this blue line, then it is the isolated mode. That means at point of common coupling, you can say that it is not connected. That means it is separated from the grid. So it is known as the isolated mode. And if here it is connected, then it is known as the a grid connected mode or grid tied mode. Okay, so both issues we have to consider when connecting with grid tied mode and when connecting when connected with isolated mode. AC microgrid and DC microgrid both have emerged as alternative to each other. That means nowadays we cannot say that only DC microgrid is required or only AC microgrid is required because generally we can say that the loads are not perfectly DC, neither perfectly DC nor perfectly AC. We are having the hybrid load that we are using day to day life. Okay, so the AC microgrid and DC microgrid both have emerged as the alternative of each other. Why? Because suppose if I am having the DC microgrid, if I am having the DC microgrid and I my load is AC, then I have to use the converter that is the DC to AC converter that is known as the inverter. And vice versa is also possible. It is observed that the DC microgrid has characteristics which eliminates many power quality problems. However, the DC microgrid suffers from the unique power quality issue. Why we are why we are saying that we are facing the less power quality problem in DC microgrid? Because we know that whenever it is a DC, at that time the voltage and current, there is no phase shift, and that's why the power factor is zero. Sorry, power factor is unity, power factor angle is zero, power factor is unity, and so there is uh, no problem of uh, uh, reactive power. You can say that 
there is no problem of the reactive power so it eliminates the issues related with the reactive power but again dc microgrid has some unique power quality issues that we shall discuss it is important to address issues separately both for the ac microgrid as well as the dc microgrid okay તો આપણે આ જે ઇસ્યુઝ છે એ ઇસ્યુઝને આપણે એસી માઇક્રોગ્રીડના અને ડીસી માઇક્રોગ્રીડના ઇસ્યુને આપણે અલગ અલગ રીતે એડ્રેસ કરીશું વી સેલ ડિસ્કસ ઇટ સેપરેટલી ઓકે ના ધ માઇક્રોગ્રીડ ઇસ્યુઝ ઇન ધ એસી માઇક્રોગ્રીડ સો વોટ આર ધ ઇસ્યુઝ તો ઇમ્બેલેન્સ ઇન પાવર લો વોલ્ટેજ સ્ટેબિલિટી વોલ્ટેજ સેકન્ડ સ્વેલ સી we are focusing only on us on several issues because we do not have unlimited time okay so considering the time and uh, we shall try to focus our discussion on the basic concepts apne bahu ani andar detail ni andar athwa to you can say that a mathematical model ni andar we shall not uh, uh, go uh, we uh, go for discussion but uh, we shall try to have the discussion such that uh, all participants get something and uh, they maintain their interest in our discussion so in case of the microgrid ac microgrid so we are having the imbalance in power okay to kyare a thase when the imbalance will occur then the low voltage stability okay and the voltage second swell these three issues we said discuss for this uh, ac microgrid okay imbalance in power now see very interesting you try to understand it occurs whenever there is a transition from grid tied mode to the isolated mode of operation of the microgrid see initially the microgrid was connected with grid main grid okay it is connected with our main grid so main grid એટલે શું છે કે આપણે જે કન્વેન્શનલ એનર્જી સોર્સિસ છે લાઈક થર્મલ પાવર સ્ટેશન હાઇડ્રો પાવર સ્ટેશન ત્યાંથી સ્ટેપ અપ થઈ સબ સ્ટેશન થઈ ટ્રાન્સમિશન ડિસ્ટ્રીબ્યુશન થઈને જ્યાં સુધી પોઈન્ટ ઉપર આવે છે ડિસ્ટ્રીબ્યુશન સાઈડ સુધી આવે છે ધેટ ઇઝ નોન એઝ અવર મેઇન ગ્રીડ ओके व्हाट इज आवर माइक्रोग्रिड तो माइक्रोग्रिड जो फरी थी एक वस्तु तो माइक्रोग्रिड कंसिस्ट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस प्लस लोड ओके एंड दे आर लोकली આપણે શું કહીએ છીએ કે એનું જે આર્કિટેક્ચર છે લોકલ છે એટલે ડિસ્ટ્રીબ્યુશન સાઈડ ઉપર જ જે લોડ ની નજીક એનર્જી સોર્સિસ છે તમારા તો ઓબ્વિયસલી ધે વિલ બી ધ રિન્યુએબલ એનર્જી સોર્સિસ ઓર સ્ટોરેજ ડિવાઇસીસ લોડ ની નજીક એવું ના કે તમારે બીજો છે ને પાંચસો મેગાવોટ નો થર્મલ પાવર પ્લાન્ટ છે ઇટ વિલ નોટ હેપન ઓકે પાંચસો મેગાવોટ થર્મલ પાવર પ્લાન્ટ ઇઝ લોકેટેડ ફાર અવે ફ્રોમ ધ લોડ ઓલવેઝ ઓકે તો ઇટ ઇઝ ઇન અ મેઇન ગ્રીડ બટ ધ ડિસ્ટ્રીબ્યુટેડ એનર્જી સોર્સિસ હેવિંગ lower power capacity and they are located nearby the load to a je grid form kare che micro grid che so when there is transition from grid tied mode to isolated mode of operation of micro grid the imbalance in power issue occurs etle su thai che ke power imbalance thai che su kam thai che samajhva mate prayatna kari apne why it happens so okay a different micro power stations connected to micro grid supplies power in grid isolated mode aj atya sudhi su hato ke micro grid was synchronized with the main grid okay now the connection between micro grid and main grid is say open that means now the micro grid is disconnected from the main grid to have micro grid disconnect thai gayi micro grid disconnect thai gayi that means what here now this blue line inside this blue dotted line je che enu potanu operation jate karvanu rese now there is no support there is no support of this utility grid so whatever is your generation 
they have to feed the load. Whatever is your generation, they have to feed the load. Okay? It may happen that the generation is less than load, and you have to curtail the load. It may happen that several of these generators share a disconnection through whenever it gets disconnected. At that time, suppose the PV are not generating as per its rated capacity. Karan ke suppose sun no samay thay gayo se. Solar irradiations are very poor. Okay, so it all depends upon the wind, battery storage, flywheel, fuel cell, super capacitor, whatever you are saying that any upar aku tamaru generation depending depend kare se. Okay, now there is no control over the load. तुम्हारे लोड ऊपर तो कोई कंट्रोल छेद नहीं क्या है कि सपोज़ जहाँ ये तुम्हारे डिसकनेक्शन था जो यू कैन नॉट से दैट यू हैव टू डेलिबरेटली कर्टेल था लोड दैट इज़ डिफरेंट थिंग ओके बट इन दैट केस जहाँ ये डिसकनेक्शन था से इमीडिएटली यू आर नॉट कर्टेलिंग था लोड सो नाउ व्हाट as yes, these power stations have slow dynamic response, energy storage devices are used to maintain the power imbalance occurring during the transition period in the microgrid. Now, as the different micro power stations are feeding the power to the load, but a micro power station no problem sushi. The micro power station no problem is that because they are renewable energy sources mostly. They can not always give the power as per expectation to the load. So it may happen that once you are disconnecting from the main grid, the power required by the load can not be fed by the different micro power station immediately. And so there is imbalance in power generation and the load, or there is imbalance in the power supply and the power required. So at that time, what will happen? At that time, the energy power imbalance will occur because the, there is a gap in the generation and load. So to fulfill that power gap, we require the energy storage devices. So whatever the energy was stored in the energy storage devices, which way the energy storage devices? Battery, super capacitor, co, ultra capacitor, co. Ye bada jaise, they are known as the fuel cells. Hai. All these are known as the energy storage devices. So, energy storage devices ni andar jay power hato, energy store kareli hati. That energy storage devices are used to maintain the power imbalance occurring during the transition period in the microgrid. So, this is the phenomena occurs when the grid tied mode is now you can say that uh, the microgrid is now in the isolated mode or you can say that in the islanding mode and when it is separating out from the grid at that time this uh, issue may occur second thing is also there again i told you that the energy sources used in the microgrid are generally are generally renewable energy sources. BG was two. You are saying that, sir, it is storage. But in case of the storage, you are having limit. You cannot have a new, you, you cannot store the energy infinitely in a battery because the cost is also one important parameter. So, the capacity in a battery fund name Mukisako. Similar is the for the ultra capacitor, or you can say that the fuel cell. So what will happen here, whenever the load demand is more, or you can say that whenever the generation is less at that time also, the power imbalance will occur. Now see what happened, your energy storage devices are providing the support to maintain the power balance. Barabha Shem, tamar energy storage, till how, till how much time it will give you the support because they are also having their own capacity, over limitations. So if it happens, then only the thing is to maintain the power balance, you have to curtail a load. 
સમજાઈ ગયું કે વેન યોર ગ્રીડ ઇઝ વર્કિંગ ઇન સ્ટેન્ડ એલોન મોડ ઓર આઇસોલેટેડ મોડ એટ ધેટ ટાઈમ ઇટ મે હેપન ધેટ ટુ મેન્ટેન ધ પાવર બેલેન્સ યુ હેવ ટુ કટેલ ધ લો પહેલા શું હતું વેન ઇટ વોઝ કનેક્ટેડ વિથ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ એટ ધેટ ટાઈમ વોટ એવર વોઝ ધ સરપ્લસ પાવર રિક્વાયર્ડ ટુ કીપ ધ બેલેન્સ પાવર બેલેન્સ વોઝ એબ્સોર્બિંગ ફ્રોમ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ માઇક્રો ગ્રીડ એટલો પાવર મેઇન ગ્રીડ માંથી લઈ લેતું હતું એટલે આ પ્રોબ્લેમ નતો થતો બીકોઝ વી આર કન્સિડરિંગ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ એઝ ધ ઇન્ફાઇનાઇટ દરિયો કહીએ છીએ કે એમાંથી તમે જેટલું જોઈએ એટલું લઈ લો બીકોઝ માઇક્રો ગ્રીડ ઇઝ હેવિંગ એ વેરી લોઅર કેપેસિટી કમ્પેર્ડ વિથ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ સો ઇટ ડીઝન્ટ મેક મે મચ સેન્સ ફોર ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ ઇફ યુ આર ગેટિંગ ધ પાવર ફ્રોમ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ ઓકે સો ધીસ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ ઇસ્યુ વિલ બી ધેર when normal warp mode is again restored it is necessary to maintain the phase sequence and voltage magnitude to synchronize with the grid have a badu thai gayo ne again when you are going to connect with the main grid at that time you have to synchronize the two sources koi pan apne jem synchronous operation karta tha bhi alternator no parallel operation kariye chhe તો ઇન ધેટ કેસ વોટ એવર ધ કન્ડિશન્સ વી આર ટેકિંગ કેર ધ સેમ કન્ડિશન્સ વિલ બી ટેકન કેર ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ સિન્ક્રોનાઇઝ યોર માઇક્રો ગ્રીડ વિથ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ ઓકે સો ધેટ ઇઝ ધ થિંગ ધેટ યુ હેવ ટુ કીપ ઇન યોર માઇન્ડ ઓકે સો નાવ હાવ ધ પાવર ઇન બેલેન્સ એન્ડ વોટ આર ધ સોલ્યુશન્સ ધ સોલ્યુશન ધ વર્સ્ટ સોલ્યુશન ઓફ ધીસ પ્રોબ્લેમ ઇઝ ધ લોડ કર્ટેલમેન્ટ ઓકે કે જો તમારે આઇસોલેટેડ મોડમાં હશો અને જનરેશન ઇઝ લેસ ધેન ધ લોડ એટ ધેટ ટાઈમ યુ હેવ ટુ કટ હેલ ધ લોડ બીકોઝ યુ વિલ નોટ ગેટ એની સપોર્ટ ફ્રોમ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ બીકોઝ યુ આર ઓપરેટિંગ ઇન આઇસોલેટેડ મોડ વાય યુ આર ઓપરેટિંગ ઇન આઇસોલેટેડ મોડ યુ આર ઓપરેટિંગ ઇન આઇસોલેટેડ મોડ બીકોઝ ધેર ઇઝ સમ પ્રોબ્લેમ ઇન ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ ડ્યુ ટુ વીચ યોર માઇક્રો ગ્રીડ ઇઝ ડિસકનેક્ટેડ ફ્રોમ ધ મેઇન ગ્રીડ એન્ડ હેન્સ યુ આર ઓપરેટિંગ ઇન ધ આઇસોલેટેડ મોડ ઓકે તો આઇસોલેટેડ મોડની અંદર આ એક વસ્તુ આ પ્રોબ્લેમ આપણને થાય છે ધેટ યુ હેવ ટુ ટેક કેર સપોઝ ધ રિવર્સ પ્રોબ્લેમ યુ આર સેઇંગ હું આના કરતા એક રિવર્સ પ્રોબ્લેમ તમને કહું હમણાં હું તમને આ સારું છેલ્લું અત્યારે ડિસ્કસ કરી લઈએ આના કરતા રિવર્સ પ્રોબ્લેમ સપોઝ ધ જનરેશન ઇઝ મોર ધેન લોડ વોટ વિલ હેપન ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ કનેક્ટેડ વિથ ગ્રીડ બીકોઝ ધેર ઇઝ સમ પ્રોબ્લેમ ઇન ધ ગ્રીડ due to this problem your micro grid is disconnected with the disconnected from the grid okay and now say the generation is more than the load what will happen what you will do anyone એનર્જી સ્ટોરેજ ફૂલી ચાર્જ તમે જો જેટલી કેપેસિટી એનર્જી સ્ટોરેજ સ્ટોરેજ હતા ડિવાઇસીસ એ બધા ફૂલી ચાર્જ થઈ ગયા પછી સોરી પ્લીઝ વોલ્ટેજ લેવલ ઇઝ ઇન્ક્રીઝ યા વોલ્ટેજ લેવલ ઇઝ ઇન્ક્રીઝિંગ ધેટ ઇઝ અનધર પાવર ક્વોલિટી પ્રોબ્લેમ ઓકે ધ વોલ્ટેજ લેવલ ઇઝ ઇન્ક્રીઝિંગ ધેટ ઇઝ અનધર પાવર ક્વોલિટી પ્રોબ્લેમ સો વોટ યુ વિલ ડુ to maintain the voltage level disconnect the generation ah are ya kai rite aavu to ka ha ha so that is known as the power shedding not load shedding hmm. suppose power in unit of 100 kilowatts say it is generating power if you are disconnecting then again the load will become more than generation you got my point there is pv and wind suppose you are disconnecting wind or pv that means whole that amount of uh, source is disconnected so load will become more than generation okay so in that case you have to dump the energy so what you are doing to dump the energy so you are performing you are trying to perform some activities at that time which are not routinely to be performed for example in your village you are having the overhead tank from which the water is distributed okay so in this case you can have some arrangement 
that if the voltage is more than three percentage of the nominal value, that reactors is the 1.03 bench. per unit. At that time, your uh, pump will get started, and it will. Uh, you can say that you can fill that uh, overhead tank and utilize the energy in this manner. Okay. There are some other means also, but this is also the reverse problem that I would like to say. Okay. In general, you also, I, I don't know, because as initially I told that more or less the problem of a microgrid are similar like that of our distribution system. Nowadays we are having the solar panel, solar rooftop panel at our home. Okay. So, many times you have to say that particularly where you are giving the supply to the uh, 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 where, where you are connecting your uh, output of the solar panel, particularly at that point, the voltage rise problem is there. And nowadays, if you are installing the 3.2 kilowatt rooftop panel, then what will happen? Your consumption is half of the uh, half, and the generation is almost double. The road now suppose 16 to 17 units are generated here. You are utilizing hardly 8 to 10 units. Okay. And so many people are doing this, uh, installing the rooftop panel. So all these issues are also there with our distributed system. And similar issues we are also facing here in the microgrid. Okay. Sir, excuse me. Excuse me. Apollo. Sir, we have to talk about the voltage level. इंडिया in India, at distribution level, we are generally not opting for the three phases. In India, at distribution level, generally we are not opting for the three phases. I know, I mean, soon you will understand. Okay? If you are coming to the Gamda Mathi, you will have to say that you are not going to be able to do it. Sir, sorry for your disturbance. Sir, I am not getting your language, sir. If you talk in English or Hindi, sir. Please, yeah, yeah, please. yeah, yeah. So, so in India, we are not opting the distribution load, single phase load for the three from the three phase supply. In India, it is not there. If in villages you observe the last field is suffering from the low voltage problem because it is far away from your distribution transformer. Okay. So now, basic solution in some European countries, they are offering the single phase load with the three phase supply. Because what happened here, suppose you are installing some, for example, at rooftop, I am installing a solar panel, okay, and rooftop solar panel is there, so I am getting the single phase supply because my load is domestic load. So the output of that solar panel is feed to a particular phase, suppose R phase. So in society, suppose it may happen that in R phase, 10 solar panels are installed. In Y phase, only two panels are installed. And in B phase, say, only uh, three or four panels, so no panels are installed. So what will happen? There is yeah, again yeah. imbalance. And if this kind of imbalance is there, then there is one solution, as someone told right now that, you can say that the load of Y and B phase can be shifted to the R phase, where the more power is generated. But in India, we are not giving the three phase supply to a domestic load, so it is not possible. Okay? okay if you sir. are getting the three supply, three phase supply R, Y and B, and again, there is some automatic facility that if one particular phase is overloaded, the other load is shifted to the light loaded phases, then this problem can be solved. But some European countries are offering this kind of facility. In India, we are not offering this facility. Okay. So if there is some power, sur sur power surplus in a particular phase, uh, then we have to uh, address the problem in some other way. Now, the second problem, that is the low voltage stability problem. 
So what happens here? As controlling of DGs and microgrid is done through the power converter, the power transfer is limited. I already told you that wherever there is DGs, because DGs are generally the renewable energy sources. So wherever there is DCs, DGs are renewable energy sources, so the power converter is required. Power converter is required for the voltage uh, increasing, uh, for the increment in voltage, or power converter is also required for getting the appropriate frequency in case of the inverter. Okay, so whatever are the power converter, they are having their own rating. And through this power converter, we can exchange the power not crossing the rating of the power converter. So, as controlling of DGs and microgrid is done through the power converter, the power transfer is limited. Limited, what is limited? So, in this converter, the power transfer is limited to the rating of the converter. Suppose it is the 5 kVA inverter, then power exchange can happen only up to the 5 kVA, not more. Okay. And in case of the regular plants, that is our conventional system, there is no converter and hence this limit will not be there. Okay. During high power demand condition in grid, these converters provide less support than the regular power plant. Now suppose your main grid need power and your microgrid is having surplus power. Main grid is, main grid need power. That means it is in sort of power and it wants support from the microgrid. But how, how much microgrid can give? The microgrid can support it depending upon the power transfer capability of the converter. Okay. Suppose instead of microgrid at that, at, at that point, some conventional power plant was installed, then it can give the full support. But this is not the thing in case of the microgrid. So it will also give the low voltage stability. When large grid is in power crisis, that means the main grid is in power crisis and microgrid is transferred in the islanded mode of the operation, power sharing support from microgrid to the large grid is zero. So when, see what happens generally when there is some problem at either side, main grid or microgrid, we are disconnect, disconnecting the connection between them. We are disconnecting the connection between them. So even though your main grid is in power crisis, because of the disconnection, now the microgrid cannot give the support of power to the main grid. So the main grid is already in a power crisis. So the voltage level, low voltage level problem will occur. And the low voltage stability problem will occur in the main grid. So this is also one of the issue. This isolated operation in power crisis will lead to imbalance in supply demand ratio and in turn rejecting voltage profile of the grid because the demand of main grid is more, it has got less power, in islanded mode microgrid is not supporting and that's why the voltage profile of the main grid will be deteriorated or you can say that the low voltage stability problem will arise. So this low voltage stability problem will arise in the main grid and this is also one of the important issue of the AC micro grid. Okay. Now the third one that is the voltage sag and swell. Okay. When micro grid faces voltage sag, the functionality of power electronic converter with distributed generation needs to be disconnected. That we are going to discuss. During safe time, when the grid connected load demands reactive power, and trying to inject the reactive power, power electronic converter with distributed generator phase over current in one or many phases. Now see generally what happens. In case of AC, in case of AC microgrid, this is we are discussing about the AC microgrid. In case of AC microgrid, generally, whenever we are saying that it is the voltage problem, generally voltage sag. If it is a voltage sec, that means to restore the voltage, we have to give the reactive power support. I think all of you know that. 
because the voltage problem is because of the reactive power. Okay, so if the voltage is decreased between two nodes, one node is having higher voltage, second one is having a lower voltage, that means there is a problem of reactive power support. Now suppose this reactive power support is to be given by the microgrid. Suppose this reactive power support is to be given by the microgrid, that means, sorry, microgrid, that means the distributed generators. So distributed generators will give the reactive power support. How it will give the reactive power support? How it will give the reactive power support? For example, PV. In case of synchronous generator, we are having the excitation. Okay. Right now we are not state, uh, we are not discussing about the fax devices. Definitely, it is the microgrid. That means it is at the distribution side, and at distribution side we are not having the fax devices except we say we are saying that nowadays we are using the dish telecom. Okay. So now what will happen here? Here the renewable energy sources or distributed energy sources has to give the reactive power support to restore the voltage within the permissible level. Okay, now it can give the, uh, definitely it can give the support, but now what will happen? The renewable energy sources are connected with the load. The renewable energy sources are connected with the grid via converter because the converter is the interfacing uh, that is between the energy source and the load or energy source and the microgrid. So now generally the converter capacity is we are defining in the VA volt ampere that is S apparent power. Okay, VA that is volt ampere that is S. After PQ triangle we are talking about the PQ triangle. Okay, so if I am saying that I am having the rating of say 5 kVA that means S is equal to 5 kVA. S is equal to 5 kVA. Okay. If I am saying that I don't need the reactive power, that means my S is equal to P. So 5 kVA will become now my the 5 kilowatt. Okay. And if I am saying that now I need the reactive power of 2 kVA, that means that much amount of active power will get decreased. That much amount of active power will get decreased because I am having the power balance triangle P, Q and S. Okay, so now see what happens. If I am giving the reactive power support, if I am giving the reactive power support, that means I am supplying less amount of active power. So that is another problem. So to increase the voltage, to increase the voltage, suppose if it is AC grid, to increase the voltage, I am providing the reactive power support, then my P will be decreased. And if my P is decreased, active power is decreasing, that means that is the frequency issue. Okay, so all these issues are interconnected. Moreover, yeah. if I am using the power electronics converter, then if they are using, if they are used to supply the reactive power, it will face the overcurrent in one or many phases because the reactive power is to be provided to a particular phase also because suppose in our phase, the load is heavily inductive. In Y and B phase, the load is not inductive. So, Should I start? Okay. So what I mean to say is whenever we are using the converter for this purpose, that means now my converter is used to supply active and reactive power both. My converter is used to supply active and reactive power both and it will face the overcurrent issue. But overcurrent issue will not be in all three phases. Why? Because again I am saying that the microgrid is like the distribution system. In case of distribution system, you are having 
the different load at R, Y, and B. It may happen that it may happen that a particular phase is connected is supplying the heavy inductive load, and particular phase the moderate load is connected. So in that case, that heavily inductive load phase has to supply the reactive power. And that's why a particular phase will be, you can say that, uh, face the problem of the overcurrent. See, the distribution line problems are deep, totally different than the transmission line, because in transmission line, we are having um, in between substation where we can correct, uh, where, where we can, you can have some correction, plus it is the balance system. Transmission system is more or less, I can say almost it is the balance system. But in case of the distribution system, if you go to the PMS, that is the pole mounted substation, that is your transformer. And if you measure the current passing through all the three phases, you will not get it same. Okay, so here again, it is the problem. That means the voltage seconds well, that is the reactive power problem. Voltage seconds well, that is the reactive power problem. The other problem is voltage well. Again, in that case, you have to absorb the reactive power and which can cause the tripping of the generators and leads to the blackout. If the voltage limit is exceeding to higher uh, permissible limit, at that time, the protection devices will get operated and uh, that's why here you will get the tripping of the generators. So these are the issues with the AC microgrid. So basically we have tried to discuss the three issues regarding the AC microgrid. That is the imbalance in power, low voltage stability, and the third issue that is the voltage second swell. Now we are going to consider the issues related with the DC microgrid. So again, that is the voltage transient issue, harmonics, See here, I say in case of the AC microgrid, also the harmonic issues are there. Harmonic issues are dominant in AC microgrid whenever the standalone operation is there. When it is the grid connected operation, at that time the power exchange happened between the grid and uh, microgrid. Okay, and so the power quality will be almost reasonable. But in case of the standalone operation, as you already know that majority of the distributed energy sources are renewable energy sources. They use the converter, they use the converter, that means they are using the switching device. Whenever there are switching, there are harmonics, total harmonic distortion. Okay, so according to IEEE 1547, Whatever are the limits given for the voltage harmonic, current harmonic, and everything should be maintained. And for that, we require the equipments that we are going to discuss in the later uh, part of the session. I don't remember how much time I will get, but uh, let us see. So in case of the DC microgrid, voltage transient, Harmonics in DC microgrid, what is harmonics in DC microgrid is nothing, but it is, you can say that a ripple type or a voltage fluctuation, you can say that, inverse current and fault current. So these are the issues. Further, there is one important issue related with the microgrid. Definitely it is not the power quality issue, but important issue related with microgrid, that is the microgrid protection. So protection, uh, mechanism protection schematic of microgrid is different than that of the conventional power system. Now the voltage transient. The main cause of voltage transient is switching of the capacitor bank, startup and shutdown of distributed generation connected in DC microgrid and load change. Now it may happen that so many times we have to put your distributed energy sources into microgrid or you are just disconnecting it from the microgrid. It may happen. So whenever this thing happen, at that time, you are getting the voltage transient. Further, the switching of the capacitor bank will also create the voltage transient problem. And also if there is a sudden change in the load, at that time, we are getting the problem of the voltage transient. 
Now the when the capacitor being switching occurs, a voltage transient moves from the low voltage AC side through a rectifier to DC side of the microgrid. Now what you understand from this sentence? Anyone can tell me? Please help me. When capacitor being switching occurs, a voltage transient moves from low voltage AC side through a rectifier to DC side of microgrid. What it means? Now see you again further. See, there is some capacitor being. We are right now discussing the issue related with the DC microgrid. Remember, don't forget the title. Okay. Now, suppose there is some switching at main grid side, switching of capacitor being or something like that, due to which the switching transient is there, voltage transient is there. Now, as it is the DC microgrid, here it is the AC, here it is the DC. Okay, so there must be the connection bidirectional converter here. If the grid is supporting the microgrid, then it is the AC to DC, that means it is the rectifier. And if microgrid is supporting the main grid, then it is the DC to AC that is the inverter. That means there must be some bidirectional converter here, which can make it possible to exchange the power between the main grid and microgrid. Okay, fine. Now see what happens. At utility grid or at main grid, there is some switching of capacitor due to which the voltage transient occurs. Now, as it is connected with the microgrid, then from AC side to DC side, that means reflex, the uh, rectifier. The whatever is the voltage transient is there, it will get reflected through rectifier to the microgrid. It will get reflected through rectifier to the microgrid that they, were, they want to say. Okay. So, when the capacitor being switching occurs, a voltage transient move from the low voltage AC side through a rectifier to DC side of the microgrid. It has been found that the transient voltage is up to 194% of the operating voltage. So due to this, the over voltage problem, you can say that the voltage transient will occur and it can be up to the 194%, almost double than that of the operating voltage. And this kind of problem, what will happen now? Suppose your load is connected. We have, we, we all have faced this kind of things, particularly at remote places. You heard that so many televisions or computers uh, due to the over voltage transient or whatever the things happen, we are getting it damaged. Okay. So if suppose you are giving the supply to the through the say 230 volt and suddenly the 400 volt APS across the load, then definitely it will damage the load. So that is the problem of the voltage transient. And this problem occurs at the AC side, that means the main grid side, but it is reflected to the DC microgrid side. Now the harmonics. Uh, generally, in case of DC, we are not saying harmonics, but in DC system, that term harmonic means oscillatory voltage and oscillatory current caused by operating frequency of the devices. Okay, because we already know that generally we are harmonics means what? Whenever we are considering the FFT or Fourier analysis, at that time, we are considering the pure sine wave, ideal sine wave as the fundamental. And based on this sine wave as the fundamental, we are analyzing all the multiple components which when added with the pure sine wave will give you the resultant output waveform. Okay, but in case of the DC, there is no sine wave. It is DC, so it is not oscillating. But what happened in case of DC, we are saying that the oscillatory voltage or uh, an oscillatory current. 
so whenever in case of the rms in case of the dc voltage if some component is superimposed it will give you the oscillatory behavior okay so in dc microgrid system many pwm based converters are used in different loads generating station in which the capacitors are connecting on both side of the converter now suppose we are using for example chopper buck converter or bush converter or say the rectifier so in this case if you observe the power electronic circuit then so many times it may happen that the capacitors are connected and work on both side of the converter because basically say we are forming the dc bus dc link we are forming and whenever the dc link we are forming to stabilize the voltage across that particular dc link we are using capacitors okay the impedance of dc bus and impedance of various capacitor will cause multiple resonance frequency if any of the resonant frequency matches with particular harmonic then the effect of this harmonic can cause serious problem to the dc micro grid because it will form the resonance circuit and once the resonant is formed at that time the, uh, is, you can say that uh, voltage magnification or current magnification will be there and uh, it will damage the grid so that is the harmonic see particularly harmonic is the most important problem you can say that the issue in microgrid whether it is the ac microgrid or dc microgrid particularly it is the main issue when your microgrid is connected in isolated mode at that time it will become more important similarly the inverse current as we all know about the inverse current when the different loads distributed generating station and different storage devices connected through the power electronics converter these converters produce harmony hence the suitable filters are required see so what i mean i mean to say the power electronics are used for better controllability and efficiency the main purpose of power electronics devices are two controllability and efficiency and the pwm techniques are used for the controllability and getting better efficiency lower thd value but whenever we are using the power electronics devices i told you that the power electronics devices are switching devices so whenever there is switching there are harmonics and when there are harmonics you have to keep the harmonic within the limit if you want to keep the harmonic within the permissible limit then we are using the filters if you are using the filters two types of filter one is known as the power filter and second one that is known as the emi filter that is the electromagnetic interface filter because at higher switching frequency it can also you can say that uh, disturb the communication line okay because the switching frequency is generally a if your fundamental is say 50 hertz then the switching frequency may be 10 kilohertz 1 kilohertz or more 20 kilohertz like that so at that switching frequency it will interface with the communication so emi filters are also required and if we are using the emi filter then the capacitor using emi filter will draw the high inverse current in the dc microgrid because the capacitor is there so capacitor see the magnetic inverse current and capacitive inverse current we are having the two phenomena whenever there is capacitor it will draw the high current from the dc microgrid okay and when deenergized load is turned on into system the large filter capacitor of this load will draw heavy inverse current suppose the load is deenergized deenergized means it is off okay and suddenly you make it on at that time the filter capacitor will also come we will also be connected with the grid and as the capacitor is connected with the grid then it will draw the heavy inverse current because now from grid it is getting charged okay so this is the problem of the inverse current 
and that uh, also uh, we have to take care then the fault current so i think uh, if you have, uh, i i don't know uh, some lecture on the microgrid protection then this problem must be addressed the fault current in dc microgrid either flows from the capacitor connected to grid through converter or different distributed charges in station from the emi filter capacitor okay so that is the thing now here the thing is like that when the limited fault current flows from dc microgrid because of power electronics converter it is difficult for the protection devices to distinguish between the overload condition and the fault condition now what is the problem the problem is whatever the fault current that is flowing that flow fault current is flowing through the converter okay as i already told you that the converter is having limited capacity for the power exchange as well as the voltage and control because of its rating limitation so so many times it happens that even though it is the fault the current flowing through converter is not substantial and so the protection devices get confused whether it is overload or fault okay and as it cannot distinguish whether it is overload and fault to depending upon the setting mal operation may happen or no operation will happen even though it is the fault so that is the problem okay so considering in our conventional grid what happens whenever the fault is there heavy current will flow and depending upon the setting of the relay we can easily identify that okay it is 1.5 times then it is the overload if it is more than it is the fault here say it is nearby uh, overload current even though it is fault the fault current is near by near nearer to the overload current so in that case your protection devices cannot distinguish whether it is fault or overload and it gets confused depending upon the setting the mal operation may happen if it is overload then it will consider it as the fault or depending upon the setting the no operation will be performed even though it is the fault it will consider it as the overload current and hence uh, the, again it will damage the microgrid and this is the serious problem to do with the microgrid so now sab ketlo samay che apni pase how much time Now, now uh, five, five or ten minutes, sir. It's uh, only five or ten minutes. Can we extend? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, let sir. us. Uh, I, I try to I try to complete uh, it uh, as soon as possible. But if uh, I speed up, then definitely you will lose interest. Anyway, so now the sir? distributed. Uh, yes, please. sir we are uh, we are enjoying the session so you can extend as per your conveniency okay okay so i am not in hurry okay okay sir okay so now here the distributed power quality improvement devices whatever the problem till now we discuss then what is the solution it is not like that it is problem and so we should not opt for the microgrid if the problem is there then we have to solve it okay so there are several devices that we are using and which are known as the distributed power quality improvement devices distributed power quality improvement devices so first generation second generation and third generation so in first generation the passive filters active filters and hybrid filters and active filters in the end you can say that it is the series active shunt active filter and so on okay now see basically active filter and series series and shunt uh, active filter so many of you might uh, know about the active filters and the theory of instantaneous power pq instantaneous pq theory that you that we are using for the implementation of the uh, active filters now see the difference between the passive filter and active filter is that in case of the passive filter we are using the passive component that means there is no energy source 
there is no energy source what are the passive components that is the resistance inductance and capacitance are considered as the passive component in case of active filter we are using the energy source that means the battery or capacitor charge capacitor and using the inverter we are trying to mimic exact opposition to the harmonic signal exact opposite current or exact opposite voltage of the harmonic so it will nullify the harmonic suppose there are two waveform both are same and 180 degree apart then both of them will get cancelled out okay that is the concept of the active filter okay if the active filter we are using in sound that means we are compensating the harmonic current and if we are using the series active filter that means you are we are compensating the harmonic voltages okay so one thing that is the filter so filter will address what so filter will address the issue of the harmonic active or passive in case of passive what will happen we have to design a passive filter for to eliminate a particular order of the harmonic what do you mean by the particular order of the harmonic suppose fifth harmonic is there fundamental is 50 hertz then the frequency of the fifth harmonic will be what 250 hertz barabar hai to 250 hertz frequency is there so to eliminate the fifth harmonic you have to design a passive filter such that at 250 hertz the resonance will occur and uh, the current will pass through the filter so that is now once you design that filter to eliminate the 250 hertz or the fifth harmonic the so same filter cannot be utilized for the seventh harmonic because the seventh harmonic has the frequency of the 350 hertz yes it is having the three frequency of 350 hertz so what will happen here the th- uh, if you are having the combination of l and c passive filter ki baat kar rahe if you are having the combination of l and c then we are selecting the value of l and c such that at 250 hertz the resonance occur so for the same component same value of l and c the resonance will not occur at 350 hertz so to eliminate each order of harmonic you need separate passive filter it is not the case of active filter it is not the case of active filter in case of active filter can eliminate any order of the harmonics only a single device is it's only a single device is utilized to eliminate any order of the harmonics that is the active filter but in case of active filter what you require you require source generally charge capacitor and inverter that means the power electronics converter while in case of passive filter no source is required no power electronics converter is required only the combination of rl and c are required that is all okay so passive filter are simple and cheap but active filter is costly but it can eliminate any order of harmonic including fractional harmonic including fractional harmonic okay hybrid filter that is the combination of passive filter and active filter so generally to eliminate the lower order harmonic we are using the passive filter and to order to eliminate the higher order harmonic we are Uh, using the active filter active filter can alone eliminate lower order harmonic and higher order harmonic all it is able to eliminate all the harmonics but at that time the size of inverter will be increase and the filter will become more costly that's why we are using passive filter to eliminate lower order harmonic and active filter to eliminate the higher order harmonic and hence reducing the capacity or size of the converter and cost of the overall filter mechanism so that is known as the hybrid filter now 
here in second generation the state com at automatic voltage regulator then the dynamic voltage restorer then the ups and all that things uh, all that things are there uh, that is the second generation Hello. Participants, please unmute yourself. Mute yourself, sorry. And now, Pandya sir, you are requested to start. Okay. Okay. So for the second generation, we are using the not state com, but, but we are using the D state com. As I told you that the microgrid are at the distribution level. Okay. So we are using the D state com, that is the distributed state com. The working principle is similar like the state com. Okay. UPS also we are using dynamic voltage restorer and all that things are also we are using. Now the third generation, that is the smart impedance. Then the energy sources and the multifunction DC uh, distributed generation sources. Okay. In that, the current control method, voltage control method, and hybrid control method. Definitely, we are not going in depth for this. But right now, this is the sun active filter. The filter which is connected in parallel with the load is known as the sun active filter and filter which is connected in series with the load is known as the series active filter. See, here is whatever the current is given by the filter is now given to the load and here the IS will become uh, harmonic free. Here we are injecting the current in series. Okay, that is only the difference. I told you that the series active filter is used for the uh, to control the voltage harmonic and the sun active filter is used to control the uh, current harmonic. Now see, this is a uh, separate uh, field. Active filter is a separate field, and uh, so many students are uh, working on it. And uh, even in case of the sun active filter, there are four uh, different techniques. Uh, th that is the constant power, then the sinusoidal current technique, uh, uh, and uh, you can say that uh, similarly four different techniques are there in case of the sun active filter. Similarly, the different control techniques are also there in case of the series active filter. But here in case of distributed generation or in case of the distribution system, in case of distributed generation or in case of distribution system, what will happen? The function, so remember, the function of active filter is not only to eliminate harmonic. The function of active filter is not only to eliminate harmonic, but it can also try to balance the system. See, so many times it happened, I told you, I told you that it is distribution system, R phase is heavily loaded, B phase is light loaded, and Y phase is moderately loaded, so there is some unbalance. If there is unbalance, that means there is a neutral current flowing through the circuit. If neutral current is flowing through the circuit, then this active filter, sun active filter I am talking about, remember precisely I am speaking the sun active filter, then this sun active filter will provide some reactive support such that the voltage and balance problem will be cured. 15 to 20 percentage support, 15 to 20 percentage unbalance can be compensated using the sun active filter. My student, uh, my PG students have worked on this and uh, we are also having the result. So it provides the reactive support 
plus it eliminates harmony so particularly in microgrid if we are using the active filter then it provides the reactive power support as well as it eliminates the harmony okay so here it is written that the harmonic or unbalanced current extraction strategy plays important role in the performance of active power filter apf that is the active power filter apf can be utilized to achieve unity power factor balanced line current and zero neutral line current that what we have what i have discussed okay this is the dvr so dvr is a power electronics based device that include an energy source an isolated transformer and power electronic converter it is connected in series with the sensitive load to protect them against the voltage and balances see only the thing is all this what we are doing whenever there is a, you can say that the voltage dip at that time we are providing the support to raise the voltage you can provide the support only if you are having some power storage device okay and here the whatever this uh, switch is there depending upon the feedback the switch will be operated and here whatever the energy stored will feedback to the uh, line okay so this is the main uh, principle that you can say that about uh, any kind of the uh, power quality improvement devices because when there is dip you are providing the support when there is swell at that time you are absorbing when there is seg at that time you are uh, supplying and when there is swell at that time you are absorbing so how, how it will be managed it will be managed using by use by you operating this kind of switch and if you are operating this with depending upon a particular condition that is a particular feedback okay, if the voltage is rise then the switch will be operated and absorb the energy you can say that if the voltage is dip then the switch will be uh, the switch will be operated and will supply the energy so that is the main concept or that is the main logic okay now here the static wire compensator state com the similar uh, concept is for the d state com again here the energy storage device is there here the vsi that is the voltage source inverter so through this we are providing the support to the line now it is connected here in series with the line okay so again it is the feedback system depending upon the condition sense here the vsi will be operated and through vsi once the vsi is in operation then whatever the energy is stored across this capacitor will be fed back to the line so that is known as the state com uh, we all know state com okay and uh, similarly here the smart impedance definitely here we are trying to create the mimic what is that smart impedance is a combination of an apf active power filter a coupling transformer a capacitor bank and an appropriate control strategy can improve the voltage regulation and stability in the weak systems such as a small microgrid generally what happens see in case of our main grid it is a very bulky system okay main grid is a very bulky system and as it is a very bulky system you cannot say that it is a weak system but the micro grid is operating with a limited resources and the number of loads connected again there is no certainty whether your uh, renewable energy sources will generate power or not so we can say that the voltage regulation problem and the stability problem in microgrid is there that's why we can say that it is a weak system microgrid is considered as a weak system and for this microgrid you can say that we are having this kind of system again this is very complex system and uh, it is uh, you can say that a totally different topic on which we can discuss or uh, conduct a lecture okay then the electric spring again here the same thing is there here power electronics devices are there again the storage is also there whenever there is 
the light load or you can say that it will store the energy whenever the demand is there it will supply the energy the same thing is happening at here so depending upon the concept of the mechanical spring whenever there is force it will get pressed when there is uh, required it will be uh, due to the elasticity it will uh, restore the particular position here we are not restoring particular position but here suppose this is the voltage profile without es this black line okay so if the load is increases your voltage is decreases then using this concept of the electrical spring you can say that it will try to improve the profile like this here it is decrease so it will give the support so here it will increase increase till what this reference point again decrease increase so now you are getting a better voltage profile then if you are if you, if you are not using the electric spring so that is the main thing now this is the comparison of the microgrid dpqi the different uh, power quality interfacing devices okay and uh, these are the comparison among all i will uh, share these slides and some apna to a logo ne you can convey that patel sir ji a patel okay sir sure sir okay so basically because of the time limitation uh the last few slides we could not discuss in detail uh, that is first thing and uh, further uh, yesterday only i remember today i have lecture and so my one phd research scholar has prepared this slide for me and uh, that is also the part of his uh, research work okay definitely whatever the main problem that we have not uh, Uh, incorporated in this but these are the basic issues power quality issues uh, of the microgrid that i tried to uh, discuss and now please uh, if you have any question or query then let me know so this is the first uh, lecture regarding the microgrid uh, several lectures are based on biomass hydro wind and solar are uh, completed before this so this is the uh, first one regarding microgrid okay okay okay, okay. so for microgrid this is first one okay okay so basically i try to concentrate on power quality issues of the microgrid rather than the basic microgrid okay because the topic i gave it to you that was the power quality issue of the microgrid the basic microgrid is again a very you can say that we can have a separate session on that but the power quality issue is again different then the protection issue is again different in case of the microgrid then the microgrid and smart grid is again the different things so there are so many things in microgrid and so many dimensions are open for the research in microgrid so i will share your mail id to oh. participants if uh, they have uh, further query then they will send mail directly to you sir Yeah, okay or otherwise you can collect the query and convey it to me because so many times it happens that the uh, mails uh, particularly in gmail i am getting some trouble uh, you can share my ready mail id no problem okay, definitely okay. i i will collect the query and i will send to you sir yes 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 definitely we shall try to address the queries okay now sir. professor dr pd patel sir please thank you sir thank you sir thank you set thai gyo ne ha sir na no tension yes sir uh, thank you very much sir uh, for your very informative session here 
and it was nicely presented and rightly discussed uh, on the power quality issues uh, like uh, power imbalance low voltage stability voltage sag and swell and dc microgrid power quality issues uh, you have not only discussed the power quality issues sir but uh, also presented uh, remedies also like uh, dpqi devices smart impedance electrical spring Uh, and uh, presented uh, recent trends as well as depths of the topic also so uh, for the uh, participants uh, i i can say i hope that uh, gain lots of knowledge and got motivation for, from this session and it is very useful to us sir for further research enhancement in area of microgrid and renewable energy uh, uh, on behalf of atal uh, fdp program we as organizers are very much thankful to you sir uh, it is our pleasure that uh, sir has accepted our invitation and spare time for us sir and uh, shared knowledge and experience with the participants uh, once again thank you very much sir for joining us and enlightening us thank you very much sir Uh, it, it is my duty uh, and uh, how many total participants are uh, registered for this fdp sir total uh, 200 participants have registered in this fdp from mm -hmm. 17 state and two indian territories out of 99 participants from gujarat 38 have been given permission to attend it from ct so okay. 60 participants uh, we are lacking them Uh, approximately 120 participants are currently joined the session okay okay very nice very nice okay okay so th thank you very much to uh, organizer of the atal fdp and uh, thanks to all my colleagues and uh, now may i take your leave but yes sir yes sir yes sir and thanks again Okay 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 thank you bye okay so all participants uh, having a uh, got the link of the feedback uh, so fill it timely and uh, next uh, for tomorrow session uh, link will be shared in the group so have a nice day ahead thank you all